Aloha, Andy. My name is Jane. I'm from Torrance, California, and I watch the Daily Pigeon Show every day. So, mahalo for making me laugh. Shaka. Hey, how's it? And welcome to the Daily Pigeon Show. It's the place to be to let the pigeon flow. The Daily Pigeon Show with Andy Bumatai. Mahalo nui loa to you for stopping by. Hey, how's it? And welcome to the Daily Pigeon. In this show, I like to talk about the Eddie Aikau Memorial Surf Meet that went happen today or yesterday as you buggers stay watching this. Now, if you don't know who Eddie Aikau, here's a link to one show I did 45 shows ago explaining who he was, okay? But anybody who's come to Hawaii has heard or seen Eddie would go. And that's Eddie, Eddie Aikau, okay? Now, the Eddie, as it's known, is a surf contest that in the last 31 years has only happened nine times because the Aikau family, particularly Clyde Aikau, Eddie's uh, younger brother, when worked with Quicksilver and said, okay, we like make one memorial contest, but gotta be at Waimea, gotta be rideable, gotta be 20 feet plus the waves, which by the way is like 40 feet everywhere else in the world. And I love this part, the Aikau family gets to say who a few of the people in the contest are. And the reason for that is so that Hawaiians are not excluded from the contest. As odd as that may sound, okay? Because get some other contests, for some reason, get very few Hawaiians. And some people on the North Shore are very upset about that. They say, hey, you guys come in with all your money, your TV stations, your sponsorship, you caught in off the beach, say who can surf, who cannot surf. It's like you own the whole place. You come, you take the money, and you leave, and the Hawaiians get nothing. That's what plenty of people are saying over there, okay? But the Eddie is not like that. By the way, plenty of people think Eddie would go, came from when Eddie, when try save the... Um, shipmates by trying for paddle to Lanai and was never seen again. But where it actually came from, as I understand it, okay, is the first eddy, the very first one, 31 years ago, was too big. So they decided not to hold the contest. And Marvin Foster, one pro surfer, local boy, said, too big? Come on, bro. Eddie would go and it stuck, became bumper stickers, t-shirts, whatever, boom. Now this contest, so you know, only happened, like I said, nine times in the last 31 years. The last time was 2009. Today, or yesterday, is the first time in all that time the conditions was met. So it was like a holiday. Kids no go school, people call in sick. Everybody watch that because it's so rare and so Hawaiian, right? People from all over the world are invited, but one of the favorites in this contest was Clyde Aikau, who created it and was Eddie's brother because he's 66 years old and he was out there in the kind 30, 40 foot waves today. How's that? Where, where would he ever be seen in one not a contest? See, right? One of my favorite moments was when uh, Sonny Garcia, they were interviewing him and they asked him why he never wear a flotation vest, right? You have to understand, um, all the contestants are required, I'm sure some attorney and an insurance company came up with this, to wear this vest that has CO2 cartridges and rip cords. So if you get stuck under the water, you can pull the cord and whoop, and it brings you to the surface, right? But he never wear his. And when the interviewer said, Sonny, I noticed you didn't wear the flotation device. Uh, why was that? And Sonny said, eh, if I need one flotation device for surf, why may I? 
maybe I shouldn't be out there. And then he said, plus get the, 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 the best water patrol. And he talked about how when you wear a vest, when you fall from one 30-foot wave and you hit the uh, ocean, you don't go through. He says you skip like a stone on, and then you, you're more likely to get axed. So he opted not to wear it. What a bull, you know. And the contest was won by local boy John John Florence who, by the way, is one of the surfers in the stratosphere of income who gets all the endorsements and stuff. But he grew up, born and raised right there on the North Shore. So congratulations, John John. I was rooting for him from the beginning because he's like 25. He never surfed in the contest. Um, um, the last one, which was 2009, because he was too young. <laughs> How's that? You know, and Kelly Slater did one mean tribute to Brock Little, who recently passed away. He, Kelly got a tube, and he said, choking up, I think Brock sent me that tube, you know, because Brock got tubed at YMA, which is very difficult to do, by the way. So um, anyway, that's what I did. I went, caught out from work, and went virtually go to the beach kind of like high school. <laughs> so if you watch the contest, hey, let me know in the comment section. No shame. False crack that like button, gang. And Sharon is Karen. And what you gonna do when the subscribe button show face? That's right, gang. Block with your left and poke them with your right. If you never already. And mahalo to those who have. Thanks, sir. Mahalo Nui Loa to you for stopping by The Daily Pigeon Show with Andy Pumatai